Now, the new version of PHP 7 simplifies the process of assigning values with the null coalescing operator. This operator will allow you to define a value on a variable if a value is absent or if a condition has been met. So this is very useful and it allows us to do it on one line instead of writing if statements. So one of the main reasons why you'd want to use this new operator is for the get global, which is populated by variables that were originally posted by either HTML or they were in the URL. So I'm just going to target the get global and then I'm going to tell it to encode it into the JSON format and I'm sticking it in the pre tags because I'm pretty printing it out. So I want that nice formatting in those line breaks in there. And let's take a look at the browser. Now you'll notice we have hello world right here and this object, but where did that come from? Well, what I did was I created this variable by targeting my index.php file. So I'm targeting that directory, which will automatically target the index file. And then after that, I'm creating a variable called hello, and then I'm setting it equal to the string world. So I've created that variable via the URL. I could create another variable, let's say var2, which could be equal to two. So all I need to do is separate out each variable with the ampersand, and you also declare all of these variables in the URL after a question mark. So there are my variables that have been posted to this script, either via URL or a HTML form. Now, what happens if I'm expecting a variable and it hasn't been populated? It hasn't got a value. Well, this is typically where you would do your checks because your forms can, let's say, submit some information and omit other pieces of information. So what happens is you need to check to make sure that your variable has a value. Now, prior to this, we had to write if statements, which was extra lines of code that we didn't want to write. But now we can use the coalescing operator to say, well, if the value isn't there, if that variable doesn't exist, then what we can do is assign another alternative value. So what I want to do now is I wanna see if there has been a variable posted to our script called name and if it has a value. So what I want to do is I want to very quickly pop in a line break in here so we can clearly see the results. And let's go ahead and echo out a value. Now, what I want to do is I wanna see if in fact we have a variable called name that's been posted to the script. So I need to target the global variable get, and then I need to use the square brackets and go ahead and fetch out the variable that's been posted. So I wanna see if there is a variable called name. Now this will basically error because we're not allowed to fetch out variables that don't exist. So if I was to simply save that and then hit refresh, you'll see that, sorry, it errored. There's no such variable right here. But let's say I wanted to provide an alternative value. Well, then I use the coalescing operator, which is the question mark, question mark. And then I can provide a default value. So I could say loz. That'll be the default name if no name was given. So I'll save that and then I'll hit refresh. And you can see that if that variable didn't exist, then what would happen is it will provide the default value, whether it be a number, a string, you could even have an object. It doesn't matter what it is, but you can provide an alternative value. And likewise, you could have that with regular variables. If I say, try to get the variable A, well, we haven't created that variable right here in our script. So that will error. So if I save that and hit refresh, you'll notice again, it says, well, go with the alternative value. This variable hasn't been created within our PHP script, so provide an alternative value. Now also, this is very, very useful when it comes to your variables. So I can say my var is equal to, and then I can say, well, go fetch the get global and try to fetch out a variable called name, which at the moment doesn't exist. The only variables that have been created is hello and var2. 
And then if it doesn't exist, provide a default value, could be a number, could be anything else. I'll just say loss. And then we can print out that variable's value, so my var, so I can save that now, hit refresh, and you'll notice it provides the default value, loss. And let's go ahead and change this up now. Let's actually create that variable. So I'm gonna create that variable name, and I'm gonna give it the value of Lawrence. So I'm gonna hit return, and you'll now notice the value is Lawrence. So we're, what we're doing is we're providing an alternative value. Now also, you can chain these operators together to produce different results. So for example, I could create a variable called person name, and that would be equal to John. Now I want this to take priority over the other values. So I can say, well, if person name exists, use that. So now we're chaining these operators together to say, if this exists, then go with that. If not, then go with the value in the get variable. And if that variable doesn't exist, then what we want to do is we want to use the absolute alternative, which is a primitive value. So we're providing different alternate values. So I can save that now. And you'll notice that the value is John. That's because this took precedent. But what if this variable didn't exist? Well, then it will go to the get global and see if the name variable existed, which in our case, it does exist and it has the value of Lawrence. And finally, if that variable didn't exist, which I have to get rid of that, so I'll just say name two. So now there is no longer a name variable, rather name two. So it said, well, that variable didn't exist. So go with the final value, which is loss. So that's also a really nice thing about this operator is you can chain the operator together. So there we have it. That is how you use the brand new coalescing operator in PHP 7.